What's going on out there, YouTube? What's up, Team Hollywood? And what's up, my Madden fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video and it's welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we're just testing some sliders. We're doing some play now, right now. Just testing sliders, guys. Just testing sliders. I think I got the defense working, guys. The only thing that's really not working on defense is cloud flats. The flats, you know, hard flats. Um, and they're not covering corner routes. But uh, I think I got these guys playing, man. I don't know. I don't know, but we're testing it right now. Greg Olson with you, Greg. You never get a chance to really rebuild. Everyone wants you to win right now in this division. And they've been taking turns at the top of the division. 19 years since the Eagles <laughs> repeated as division champ. Dallas won it last year. Who knows what we're in store for this season. Yeah, it just shows how hard it is to win year in and year out consistently in the NFL. The league is set up for parity. It's set up for teams that were last in the division. They have just as good a shot to win it the next year. And I think this is a two-horse race. Dallas, as you said, they won it last year. I think Philadelphia feels that this roster, this coaching staff coming back, has them in position to challenge Dallas. I think right now New York and Washington find themselves on the bottom looking up. But I think the Eagles and the Cowboys, this could come all the way down to the end of the season. So they come to the line for first down and 10. So there we go. The there we go. It's Saquon Barkley. Jonathan Allen, let's go, baby. Behind the line of scrimmage, the defense with a statement on the game's first play. Like this defense talked all week about the importance of coming out fast and starting this game the right way. And it's less about the loss of yards there on that first play and more about just setting the tone. Hey, we're going to be here all day. They're going to get rid of that ball, man. When they feel pressure, those quarterbacks get rid of the ball. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do, but it's like they are not going to get sacked. Now it's hurt. Good defense. Good defense. Let's go. Short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's you scared me down. with that pump fake. <laughs> Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Not something you want to see in the opening minute of the game. Come on, guys. Block some. Block him. Come on, man. By the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Here we have a guy, Mike, who's probably one of the most. And then, guys, what I'm doing also is testing my playbook. NFL. Um, just trying position. out stuff, you know, so taking risks basically. For a defense with his legs, but make no mistake about it, he is far from one dimensional. He's both willing and able to carve a defense up with his arm while using his legs as more of a secondary weapon. If there's one knock on his game at this very moment, it's the fact that occasionally he'll kind of lay one up from time to time. Nonetheless, if he's on his A game in this one, we could be in for a real treat. Let me test this play out right here. On second yes. Down, a run. Well, I like that. I like that. <clears throat> we got to keep this crowd quiet. They'll come up to third and three. I really caught the wrong play. 19 
Tiger, 19 Tiger. Go. They'll try and run for the first. Yes. With Beautiful. Let's go. <clears throat> Good job, offensive line. Good job. So when you put the ball on them early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. Third and a yard, it's Daniel. And the defense... Good catch. I know I had to throw it right on time. And a first down. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that will be a bit of a letdown. From the gun, it's a give to Eckler. He'll work forward for a couple. It was Milton Williams. Come on, offensive line. I'm not hitting turbo. If you could just hold your block just a little bit. Just a little bit. Look him up on a second down and eight. Here's Daniel. He's got his team a first down. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons. We threw a little bit behind him, though. Here early. Think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. Now Daniel throwing on first and ten. They're coming in too fast. To set up the screen, but that is going to fall incomplete. They need to fix the screenplay. The offensive line is supposed to block for maybe one second and then release the line. Throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? They'll try again here. Second and ten. To throw is Daniels. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. We're going to try to throw this fade route to McLaurin, guys. Let's see how it works. We got to try this stuff, man. Throwing again. Daniels. Oh, I didn't throw high enough. <laughs> and the Eagles are gonna take over once again at their own 25 yard line. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense. I think I tapped it too fast. You gotta take some chances. You gotta try to force a turnover. That's a bullet and pass and get off the field. That's exactly we had a nice drive going too. Takes a chance. But guys, I gotta I gotta learn this stuff, man. To I gotta learn this stuff. The Eagles offense going to take over now for the second time. They'll search for the first points of this game. I like the, the that's a person stand, too. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. The veteran Bobby Wagner in there on the stuff. On 
on second down. Hurts. This one to his big tight end, Uzama. And he will be out of bounds on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. <clears throat> And five. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. He'll get this one complete to Brown. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man-beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, there we go, guys. We saw here, Good job. It's a lot more simpler. Understand the you going to wear a the play. Getting this kind of slow, boy. The in the defense are and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. On play Ooh, oh, no. That should have been a sack. As he throws this time and it's gonna fall incomplete. They might be fortunate. Come on, Rob, give me some intentional set. grounding. And it'll set up a third down. The whole idea of the play action pass, Mike, is that you can slow the pass rush down enough that it allows longer, slower developing pass concepts to open up downfield. But in this case, they were on him so fast that by the time he got his head around, beautiful, baby, beautiful. Let's go. Let's go. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could oh, be the difference of you being able glad to Glad you didn't away. run into him. <clears throat> and that's a nice job of getting to him, making sure that return was not going anywhere. The commander's offense, ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They moved the ball well on that opening drop, but nothing came out of it, so still scoreless. Offense back on the field for first and ten. My whole goal is to work on playbooks, guys. Really. And the slider set. Man, they got it all covered, man. They got it all covered. To throw. Oh, we got him blitzing. On first and oh! And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They're covering that right side. They'll throw with Daniel. Nowhere to go. He is taken down. Defense came out in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression to his check down, he ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get into the backfield and bring him down. Third and long. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. And on third down, that ball incomplete. Terry McLaurin, the intended target on that one. And that's going to lead to a fourth down. The Commanders set to kick this one away. They send Britton Covey back deep. Mm. Oh, how about the coverage there? Good job, Punting. Drop before he can get a return go. The Eagles offense ready to take over once again. They'll start with great field position up at their 45. 
Hurts looking to throw on first down. That's caught Saquon Barkley. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. And he's going to have to eat this Slap ball. blitz, baby. Slap blitz. He goes. With the right personnel, the he's not going to throw an interception, like so he's going to either throw it away or take the sack. If ain't nobody open, he is not going to force it. also can bring him on pressure, Mike, and that's what this guy does so well. The timing and the speed, he got there in a hurry. On third down, it's hurt. That's the way we do it, baby. That's the way we do it. They'll punch it away again. Braden Mann returns to the field. As this drive quickly stalled out. So he's on to punch it away. Fuck! Y'all like that guy come all the way down the field. He's be knocked down before he can even think about it. Returning that ball. Whoa! Here comes the Washington offense now. They get set to take over. They'll begin with first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. And this will be incomplete. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the, rest the entire of my field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. Daniels to throw. On. Oh, he's going to be bottled up and taken down. They got him. So after picking up some positive yardage on first down, they end up going backwards on second. That sack now brings up third and long, and what most of the time is a very pass-happy situation makes them very one-dimensional. Long and here's Daniels, and that is incomplete. The offense just couldn't seem to get anything going that drive. They knew they had a long way to go, taking over possession that deep in their own territory. You want to pick up that first down and see if you can capitalize some momentum. Instead, the errant throw it's almost impossible to throw the ball. They're gonna have to punt it away. That's a great pass. He dives and knocks it down. Now, as they make their way back onto the field. They'll begin with terrific starting field position. It gets going with first and ten. <clears throat> On the ground, it's Barkley to start the drive. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. We're calling good plays, man. Now Jalen Hurts on second down. He finds <laughs> what a hit. Smith. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They get ten yards ooh, on the hook. Boy, up there. that Jeremy First Chan, boy. Philadelphia. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker. Be friendly to the quarterback. Look at this. Look at this. to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. 
That's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. All right, we're going to go with the slot blitz again. Second down throw for Hurts. Uh, nowhere to get away, and he's going to go down. The defensive coaches, they preach all week, Mike. They have to have relentless pursuit of this quarterback when he tries to extend the play. So often it results in a great play for the offense and a big pickup. This time, because of that pursuit, it leads to a big loss. Third and long for Hurts. Ooh. And that is We're playing good defense, baby. Let's go. So often we see when those balls get deflected up into the air, they usually turn into interceptions. I think the offense dodged a bullet here, and they're fortunate there was nobody in the area to come down with that pick. Another great punt. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes oh, inside the 15-yard line. The home team's offense getting their final instruction before heading back onto the field. This is I don't know where all my offensive plays at, guys. I got more than this. Here. It's first and ten. Hope I didn't screw it up. Watch him. Working out of the gun, it's Daniel. That's over the middle and intercepted. Richard soon. Got nervous. He is going to score. A pick six for the touchdown. We saw it earlier. The defense on the quarterback with the earlier interception. And now Greg. Guys, I could have let the clock run out. Try to uh, at least be conservative. Run the football going to half, man. But we got to learn this offense, man. Throwing the football. I mean, not only is That's what I'm testing right now. But this time, the defense gets their hands on the ball. <laughs> and they're able to take it all the way back for the pick six. Jake Elliott, Jake Elliott now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Eagles will take a 7-0 lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Safe kick taken at the five. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The home team's offense ready to get back at it. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. from the gun it's Daniels and that one knocked away it's incomplete Mike when you're completing less than 35 percent of your passes you're just not going to win a lot of games in the NFL he's just too erratic throughout the course of the game sometimes it's exactly how he's they covering practice. that C route boy. other times it looks like they've never practiced at all On second down, it's Daniel. Oh, come on! There's only a handful of guys in the league who legitimately have world-class speed, and he's one of them. I mean, he's the type of weapon that you three or four times a game have to just say, okay, my guy, he's faster than your guy. We're going to send him deep and let it fly. And even though that one falls incomplete, you have to continue to sprinkle that threat in because it makes everything else in your passing game that much easier. Dotson, the man in motion. On third down, they'll throw with Daniel. 
And for the third time in this first half, he's been intercepted. Picked off by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. There's really no other way to put it, Mike. This has just been a rough outing. Y'all see how good this defense is playing, man. I think everyone understands going into these games, there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be learning moments that these guys are going to gain that they can only gain through experience. The problem is it's really hard to have positive <laughs> learning experiences when you throw three picks. He's got to see the field better. He's got to anticipate better. And ultimately, he just needs to play better for his offense to have a chance. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Hurts will work here from the pistol. That is hauled in at the five. And he's going to be taken down. That's a gain of 16 yards, and it sets up first and goal. Here's a timeout for Philadelphia. That is their second, as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the four-yard line, trying to punch it in. First down and goal. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. And he's going to drop. They get to him back at the 15-yard line. The defense is playing. They, they ball. This pass rush is going to be a big reason why. The five sacks speak for itself, but their ability to destroy the Davis, timing baby. of this offense, that can't be overstated. First down was not very good. Here's second and goal. Now Hurts. That's over the middle. Complete to Brown. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. Good job so far by the defense protecting the short field. Now it's third and goal. It is brought in in the end zone. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Eagles. Tight spaces down there. Things happen quick. Greg, a quick decision and great execution for the score. You're exactly right, Mike. Down here this close to the goal line, everybody's clock has to speed up. Not only the quarterback processing to get the ball out of his hand, but you have to win as a receiver quickly and give the quarterback somewhere to go with the ball. It was that quickness at the line of scrimmage that led to that touchdown. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. And this one is fielded in the end zone. Will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. At their own 30-yard line. Let's go now. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he finds some daylight. Up past the 35-yard line. A pickup of seven. So we've hit halftime, and it's the visitors, the Eagles, out on top as we get you down to Florida, Orlando specifically. It's where the coach is, Jonathan Coachman, has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our Halftime Report. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. All right, Coach, second half, drawing near. Glad to have you back with us here on EA Sports. <laughs> Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. From the six, here comes a return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. So now, out comes the offense, led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And the turnovers have really been the story here. Take you back through the high, or actually the low lights in this one. Not a lot of positives when you have a three interception game under pressure all game long the secondary feasting on his pass yeah. 
The tight end, Ertz, in motion. Daniels now on first down. And for the fourth time today, he has been intercepted. That's the linebacker, Devin White. The defense is having a day. I assume he was going to be open. With Greg, their second pick six of the game. And that's just something you don't see very often in the NFL, Mike. I mean, you might see a handful of games each year where there's one pick six. But to get two pick sixes in the <laughs> same game, this yeah, defense Elliot is on fire. Elliott on now for the PAT. It's up and good. And the Eagles will stake themselves to a 21 to nothing lead. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. This will be returned from the six. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin then. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. It's practice time now, guys. That's all it is. First and ten. Come on, come on. Hey. Throwing now. Daniel. Thrown left side. The catch is made. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. 16 yards on the game. And a quick first down. First and ten at the 41-yard line. Gets it away quickly, and it's caught. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. Second and 11. Now Daniel. That's taken in. It's Austin Eckler. And he'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. Here we go. Here we go. Cowboy Third and two, here's Daniels. And this ball incomplete on third down. Well, it's pretty clear the main reason why they find themselves trailing in this game, Mike, has really just been the inefficiency of this offense and primarily out of the quarterback position. I mean, to complete less than half of your pass attempts, it just makes it very hard to compete at a high level consistently in the NFL. And if they want to find themselves having any chance of getting back into this game and winning this one, He's going to have to get a lot better with the ball. Go. They'll go. Here's Daniels. He's got the veteran Zach Ertz. A little bit of a risky decision for some, Mike, but frankly, I really like it. I think the days of being aggressive on fourth down, even on your side of the field, are here to stay. And while some people say this is over-aggressive, in this case, the aggressiveness paid off, and they're going to keep this drive alive. Sixty bison, sixty bison. Throwing again, Daniel to the outside, into the hands of McClure. and they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football quarterback gets off his first read sees some openings to the sideline and him and his receiver are able to connect Daniels gonna throw again the open receiver is Dotson and he's into the end zone Jahan Dotson touchdown Washington 
What a job to finish the play with a touchdown. The catch and carry in the carry part, Greg. That was the most impressive there. Well, you said it, Mike. The catch was nice. But it's what can you do after the catch that really separates guys in this league. And in this case, he did plenty. Because it ended up in a touchdown. Riley Patterson now to add the extra point. He's got it. And the commanders get back in it. It is 25 yard drive. I didn't know they had that song in the game. <clears throat> Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. For the return, here comes Britton Covey. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. That's A.J. Brown and the rest of the Eagles offense set to take over once more. The lead is a couple of touchdowns as this drive kicks off first and ten. He'll start on the ground with Barkley. He's got room to the 45. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. That's a gain of 21 to open this drive. Set to go now on first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Hurts. That one is caught by Campbell. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. That'll be taken in by Parker. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time. Play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. On third down, it's Hurts. That's complete. Tight end got her. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Well, nothing real fancy here, Mike. Not a huge pickup, but any time on third down, you got to know where the sticks are, who's your most reliable player, and I think everybody in this booth knows exactly what position that is. Looking right side, he's got a receiver. It's Smith. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Hurts finding Smith and an eagle. First down. To the air one more time and it's complete to the sideline nice job getting both feet down in bounds this is why the timing of these routes is so critical if that ball is thrown a little bit later he's unable to keep his feet in bounds but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds a pass caught by Saquon and this drive's going to continue. He's taken down. They are set up with first and goal. Hurts again. That is good. Cool. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line. 10 times and then you look back and you're like man how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard under pressure and now he's going to go down back at the 8 yard line so can the defense come up with the early stop here on third and goal Hurts going to be taken down here. The defense comes up with a sack on the final play of this third quarter. So with a fourth and goal looming, we reach the end of the third quarter of play. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports.
On fourth down, it's Jake Elliott time for the Eagles. This just a little more than a chip shot. 32-yard attempt. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. And back to work goes Elliott after making the field goal. He'll send this one away. On the return, it's Chris Rodriguez. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The home team's offense get those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. Daniels now going to look to throw. Quick throw here is complete. They get 13 to begin the drive. It's a first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. And he can hang on through the contact. They take the play. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. They'll throw with Daniels. That's caught downfield. McLaurin brings it in. A gain of 24 through the air. Good for a commander's first down. These can be tricky situations defensively, right? The game is all but over. Barring something unforeseen, you got this one in the bag, but you still want to finish on a high note. You still want to walk off the field and put an exclamation point on what's pretty much been a dominant performance right from the start. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. A big play there for Washington. 31 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. They'll run here with Eckler. And they are all over that on defense. Good surge. Drops him back. Let's put him at the nine-yard line. Now, here's second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Motioning him from the left side. Here comes the jet sweep. And that is not going to work out as planned. Maybe a tough spot to try to run a play like that. Either way, it's blown up back behind the line of scrimmage. Here we go, Jack. Third and goal, it's Daniels. He pulls it in around the five. Another really nice throw right there, and as you can see the numbers he's been able to put up here, I'm a little surprised, if I'm being honest, Mike, with just how easy it seems to have been. It just seems like he's made every right decision every time that he's decided to throw the ball. Lots of big people, jumbo set in the game as they go for it on fourth and goal. And he will drive his way into the end zone. Jaden Daniel. Touchdown, Commander. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. You know, I got plays with some great route combinations. I just got to know how to run them based on the defense. That's all. No, we're not going to onside kick. We're going to play them straight up. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Harris Campbell now on the return and he'll be taken down right at the 29 yard line 
The Eagles offense ready to get back to work. Their lead is 10. They go back to work trying to add to it. It begins with first down. They run out of the gun with Barkley. A gain of four as he's taken down. He'll stay on the ground with Barkley. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. They'll come up here first and ten. Once again, it's Barkley. And he'll get about five. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. That is a worrisome development here late in the game. They'll come up here on second down and five. On the handoff, this is Barkley. He is not going to get away. Might have gotten the yard, but it will set up third down. On the ground, this is Barkley. Now the Commanders will use their third and final timeout. As they'll discuss what's to come as fourth down is looming. Here comes the Eagles punchy. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. That's going to be out of bounds, no return. And the drive's going to start from just inside the 20-yard line. The home team's offense ready for this next possession. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. They'll drop to throw. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. John Dotson was the intended receiver there. And it'll be second down. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. He's going to air this one out looking for Dotson. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think like they know this offense has to be one dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. A great pass rush is like a closer in baseball. When you bring them into the game, it's all but over. That's exactly the case here. It doesn't result necessarily in a sack, but it was the hit that altered the throw just enough to end that play before it started. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. That'll change things out of bounds inside the 35. What a big play on fourth and 10. It's a gain of 49. Take a look at his receiving numbers. He has been terrific. Over 100 yards in this one. Stop. 
still some hope. Keyword some. No timeouts. They need two scores. And it's first and ten. To the air again is Daniel. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. This has really been the story of this entire game, Mike. I mean, this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much from the jump. And they've already recorded a couple of sacks, a handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame. Seven Pirates! Seven Pirates! Keep it in the air. Here's Daniels. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. So, of course, you prefer to connect on that throw. But think about it like this, Mike. The more they continue to test this defense downfield, the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath. On third down, they'll throw with Daniels. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. They took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on down. The Eagles offense ready to see what they can do. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. Victory formation here, as he's down to a knee. All right, everybody, that was a test. Uh, we learned some stuff. Um, I'm kind of learning the playbook just a little bit. Uh, we're learning how to play all mad football. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. If you're still watching, I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching, and I will see you so it's a on my win next video. For the visiting Eagles. And right away, you can point to the turnover battle. Always key. Tells the story so often. It did here again today. Their offense didn't turn it over at all. They finished on the plus side with the takeaways. And as a result, they're going to come away with the victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team.